The levit the levitator. Oh yes. Oh, a fascinating visual device that defies uh, description. What do you think of that then? What's this? The levitator. Ah, oh, that's for our German friends. And ah, the levitator for French. Well, it's going to be exciting, I think. So, shall I open the box? Yes. All right. I'll take that as a yes. Let's see what we have inside. Something very smart. Rolls around and it's black and white. What's this? I don't know for a minute. Let's have a look. Oh, look, look, magnets. Magnets there doing all sorts of things. Well, in here, according to the picture, there's a little bit of. Yes, glass. So, I think the idea is we put it in like that and then we just place it in so that it does something. It levitates. Look at that. All the way around, it's suspended in the air. Then we have to actually rotate it, so like that. Oh, look at that. Like merging to each other. It's a good centimetre above the base there. Extraordinary. And yet, when this was not here, it won't do anything at all. Well, well, well. So you just insert that piece in like that, place it on it, back away, and there it's ready to work. No batteries, all done by magic. Mag magnets here, magnets there, magnets, ring magnets, one in there, one in there, I think. I thought the other day I ought to try something different, so put that aside and let's see if I can get my finger to work with. Like that, about there. About there. Oh yes, look at that. Look at that. This is what it should be doing. And it goes on presumably quite, quite a long time because there's only air resistance to slow it down. And so that'll go on for a long time. Apparently as if it's uh, motorised, but it's not. It's just pure rotational inertia. A lovely, lovely piece of science. And visually very exciting to watch and to wonder how it's working. What a piece. Mmm. Love it.